All right, today me and my boy Fig Vault are hitting up their action figures on 61 Green Tree Drive in Dover, Delaware. A little fig hunt action. Let's see what they got. All right, so here's their wrestling wall. Um, I beelined right for it because obviously uh, me and Fig Vault are big wrestling figure collectors, so we had to come right to here. Had a ton of elites, new and old, some jacks, galoobs, hasbros, basics. Um, a couple Motus. They, they had a lot of stuff going on. Here's the battle packs. Nothing too crazy there. As you can see, they got bagged loose figures. Uh, here's some more elites. They got the network spotlight Roman Reigns, um, defining moment Shinsuke, Ghostbusters Rock. A lot of stuff here. Um, Ghostbusters Taker loose. And to be honest with you, the prices at this place are actually really good. Sometimes you'll go to collectible stores like this and the prices will be astronomical and higher than eBay or on par with eBay if you include in shipping. And uh, his prices here were very reasonable and uh, I will definitely be going back because there's a lot of stuff that I feel like I left behind that I probably shouldn't have. Um, yeah, so they had Billy Kidman, Tony Atlas, classics. Um, they had Hasbro's complete with belts. Uh, Galoob's complete belts. A lot of good stuff here. As you can see, there's a GM style. Kurt Angle. Um, Iron Sheik. Screwjob. Uh, Classics Brett. Uh, the Koloffs, which is unreal. They're eight bucks each. Um, Ron Simmons. They had a lot of stuff, guys. And uh, the day before, he posted a video of what was in the store, and they had sold a lot of stuff since the night before. Uh, that me and Figbolt went so there was a couple things that we we had our eyes on and they sold by the time we got there so it's one of those stores I guess you got to be on top of it um, there's some new elites I got Naomi Lacey Evans Braun Rhonda Kevin Owens they're all kind of mixed in there's that Demon Balor Tucker Seth Rollins with the tag belt Kurt Angle Christian a couple people were buying Christian when we were there Orton ricochet there's a couple batman mixed in which i didn't really understand why but they got the wrestlemania cena basics up top but like i said they're mostly revolving around the collector so there's a lot of elites um my main thing that i wanted to get when i came was some ra figures but uh had to peep out the elites first as you can see they got a bunch of star wars too um but yeah let's uh Let's check out the RAs. They got Carlito, Steven Richards, and uh, Ken Kennedy, but I already have them. We got Kane here. They had a Titan Tron uh, RVD that I dropped. Kurt Angle, Ruthless Aggression. Uh, Eugene, which I need. They also had um, Tajiri, but I'm dead with the camera right here. Uh, I also noticed that on the bottom they had a couple things I wanted to check out, but I was dropping some things. So there's the Tajiri, there's Kurt Angle, um, what else they got, a bunch of elites. Down here they had the Classic Superstars LJ and Sal Triple H, and I think I have it, I wasn't sure, um, but I held on to it. Anyway, they had Barry Windham, IRS Classic, and uh, Brutus Beefcake, which I didn't have. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. It was only 15 bucks. How about that baby in the background? So here's the SH Figure Arts, uh, Triple H and Stone Cold figures, 20 bucks each. And they had this massive bin of loose figures and they were three for $10. Um, so I picked up quite a few figures from here. Um, I'm actually just gonna let this part run i'm not going to really do any voiceover on it because i feel like you guys will enjoy just looking around at the, the different figures in the bin um which i hope you do so i'm just going to cut off the voiceover now and you can just uh, check out what they got Uh, no. 
I took a text picture of it and sent it to him. The smart one. Oh, it does. Ah. Uh. I kind of like this Grandmaster Sex A. Alright, so hope you liked that part. If you didn't, maybe you skipped through it and just came over here. Checking out the NECAs. They had the modern Friday the 13th uh, Jason, which is a pretty cool figure. My boy Fig Vault picked that up. Um, it's pretty, pretty sick, um, the way that they got the hair and everything. And then I noticed that they had Bride of Chucky, but it's just Chucky by himself. And I really want the two-pack. Uh, 28 bucks is not bad for this, though. Uh, they had some... NECA Child's Play, Evil Dead 2, The Nun, Gremlins. Uh, yeah. they, they had everything that you could really think of. Um, handed this off to Fig Vault, see if he wanted it. Uh, he passed on it. They got some Transformers, Game of Thrones. Just chucky, but that's not bad. They really had a lot to look through, and it was hard to check it all out because it was very overwhelming because there was a lot of stuff that you don't see in your common brick-and-mortar retail store, big box store. So... But then I turned around and I noticed that they had more elites behind me. But it was a lot of Freddie Blassies, this uh, Dean Ambrose elite with the U.S. title and the camcorder, Braun, some Elite 66, and other random figures that I didn't really need. So I just kind of kept moving. A lot of pops. I thought this was pretty cool. Again, decent prices. Ten bucks for a two-pack of pops. You can't really beat that. Some Dragon Ball Z. There's just stuff everywhere. It was very, very overwhelming. And some of the stuff you can tell they don't really know how to organize it because there's so much variety. Um, I noticed that they had the Dark Knight uh, Joker. I had this whole set and I was curious what it goes for and he was only selling it for 10 bucks. Um, I really thought they were gonna go up in value considering how uh, controversial the figure was originally when it came out. Um, so here's some more Star Wars stuff, some more pops. Uh, again, like I just didn't know where to look because there was so much stuff. It was very overwhelming. This was an awesome case. I am not a collector of G.I. Joe stuff, but they had a cool vintage case of G.I. Joe collectibles. I know a lot of you guys collect them. Um, it seemed like decent prices for complete G.I. Joes, which is very hard to find out of the package. They even had some mint in box um, vehicles and such, like this G.I. Joe uh, Snowcat. Um, very cool stuff, but again, like I don't collect it, so I didn't really know what I was looking at, but it's still fun to check out. Uh, here was some Power Ranger stuff, which I used to love as a kid, but definitely not going down that rabbit hole because I feel like that would be never ending. Uh, Forrest Griffin, Jack's UFC, they had the new UFCs behind it, they had specialty Uno games, uh, Marvel selects, and I noticed that they had some Mego figures. Here was uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. They also had a leather face next to it. DC figures. Guys, everything that you could really think of. 
Um, great store. I definitely suggest you check it out. Their action figures in Dover, Delaware. Find them on Instagram and uh, see what they got. I think they do some shipping too. All right, so it was a successful figure hunt at their action figures in Delaware. I also was able to pick up this Andre the Giant Super 7 reaction figure. Both of them. But we picked up this Classic Superstar Series 17 LJN style Triple H that I didn't have. It was 10 bucks. Can't beat that. Um, I am trying to round out my Ruthless Aggression figures, so I got a bunch of them. We got this Ruthless Aggression Series 11 Eugene for eight bucks. Um, do a little unboxing. You can see that the, the ink spread a little bit. Um, doesn't bother me. I'm just trying to get one of each guy, and we got these loose figures. We got Sabu. Now, if you know anything about these Sabus, it's very hard. To, um, the skin tone's never going to match. As you can see, the head's always different. The arms are always different. I don't know why they don't match the torso. I guess it's different plastics. It drives me crazy. I initially wanted a blue, um, the blue pants one, but I gave up, and I'm just going to live with this one. So we got Sabu. We got Billy Kidman. We got Paul London. We got Captain Charisma Christian. We got um, Chavo Guerrero. I actually forgot that I even picked this one up. And I just bought it today. We got... We got Snitsky. And we got... Let's see... Grandmaster Sex A. So let's see. We got nine figures for 35 bucks. Um, you can't beat that. Pretty good deal, I think. Um, so, yeah, not a bad hunt, I would say. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. Check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price. And go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.